Hey guys, Randy here at eTrailer.com. Now, of course, we have all kinds of cargo management solutions for you. Depending on your application, there can be any variety of them out there and available. We're taking a look at one today that I really like. I think it's pretty unique. It's a half-inch D-ring from Cargo Smart. Now, this tie-down point's designed to mount just about anywhere you might need it. You can see we're using a utility trailer here. We've got it secured down to the floor. But this is also going to work good in flatbeds. I see it worked with some customers who said that they really liked them for their pickup truck bed. One of the big reasons for that, and the biggest thing that makes this difference than a lot of the other ones, is going to be the removable aspect of the D-ring. So when not in use, you can remove this. That's going to eliminate a lot of the noise and rattle that we commonly get out of these. And all you'll be left with is just the anchor point here on the floor. Now, I really like the idea of these. I hate noise and rattling. When you're trailing, you're gonna have some, but with something like this, you can really kind of reduce that quite a bit. Now this is gonna offer a 3,666 pound safe working load limit. So whether it's tractors, trucks, you're gonna use these on a car hauler, or you have more medium and light duty applications in mind, it'll work out really well for that. The finish quality also seems to be very nice. You're gonna have a yellow zinc finish on all of our components, our pin, our clip, our D-ring, and our anchor point. You can see we're using 3 8 inch carriage bolts here, and we've ground just the side of it off to make sure that it sits nice and flush. We'll show you the difference there later when we do the installation side of it. As you can see, we've got a pretty sizable D-ring. Looks like side to side here, we're gonna be looking at just almost two and a half inches of usable space so even if you're going to run chains through here and loop them back to something it'd work out really well out to outside to outside you can see it's closer to three and a half inches and then just about two and five eighths of an inch from the surface here to the inside of our ring this is going to be half inch diameter that's where it gets the name half inch and then from your mounting surface to the top of our anchor point here it's gonna be right at one inch. So with that D-ring removed, getting stuff to slide over that won't be that big of a deal. It's kind of got a rounded contour to it there. So when not in use, these shouldn't hamper your loading and unloading abilities on your trailer. Now, the only thing that you're gonna need besides your tie-down anchor to secure any loads is gonna be a set of ratchet straps. You might already have them at home. If not, depending on the size of your load, we have a a set of straps I really like from uh, e-trailer. It's a four-pack, 1,200 pound capacity per strap, so that's going to get you up to 4,800 pounds. Um, there are also some nice ones from Ericsson available with a 3,000 per strap capacity. If you're thinking about a little bit higher level of load or a little bit heavier load, might be a better option to go with those. But overall, in working with a lot of our customers, I think that this tie-down point is going to serve a lot of purposes. It's going to stay quiet when you don't need it. Since you can remove it, you're not going to have to worry about getting stuff in and out over it. And it's nice and heavy duty, so this can take care of light loads all the way up to the heavier loads without any real issue. To begin our installation, we'll start with our bracket first. We're going to use this as our template so we know exactly where we want to drill our holes. We're gonna be mounting ours to the, just the wood decking here on the trailer. Gonna be using carriage bolts, flat washers, and nylon lock nuts. It's gonna be a 3 8 diameter carriage bolt. They tend to sit in there really well, give you a nice clean install look. So of course we'll need to use our 3 8 drill bit. And we'll just use that, mark our hole locations, and we'll get those drilled out. Now we'll place that back over the top, placing our carriage bolts. We'll head to the bottom, get our hardware put on. So we've got them started, we'll just slowly draw them down. Something that we run into pretty commonly with these 
whether it's this brand or a different manufacturer, when they have this tight bracket, it always seems like our carriage bolt is just a little bit too close and it holds it up and off. So if that's a concern for you, position them in there and then figure out where you want to trim it just a little bit. You could grind that off just a little bit. It'll sit more flush. We can show you how that works or how it looks after that's done. You can see just by flat spotting the side of that a little bit, just gives a little nicer, cleaner look. Now we'll place our D-ring down, slide our pin through, and get it clipped into place. At that point, it's ready to go. You can see we've got a really large connection point here. Plenty of room there. Very easy to clip a strap on, but something else I like, it's removable. So we pull the pin, clip, we can store this inside of our vehicle, so we're not going to have to worry about corrosion and things like that. It's also going to make our trailer quieter. We won't have that bouncing around as we're heading down the road. I think this is also going to be important if you're running cable and you've got the middle section or if you're lashing something down with rope. You're able to just pull this off, slide your rope in, and then it's a quick and easy process to get it put back together there. Just sliding that through and replacing our clip. We're right back up to that safe working load limit and ready to get our items secured. Now, I really like this tie down point. I think you will too. Working with a lot of customers, it seems like this one would fit the bill of giving us a really nice, durable, strong capacity, not being in the way when we didn't need them, and also helping to keep everything quiet so we're not rattling so much going down the road.